Okay, how good of you to come. I'm Kikawa Hiroe, Lord, Izumo, uh, Lord of Izumo Province. Unfortunately, the head of the Mori clan could not be here, but I shall hear what you have to say in his place. So we get Usurper's Kabuto, Danjin Sake, Himorogi Branch. Oh, they might actually be consumable. That's worrying. Iwami Ginzen is the Jinzan? I have no idea. <laughs> Look, pronunciation is not my strong point. Anyways, the largest silver mine of all of Japan. Uh, its high quality silver has fetched top prices and profits both inside and outside Japan's borders. However, its riches have also made it a prime target for other warlords, and the locations of its entrance, exit, and inner chambers are kept a close secret. Over time, the Mori clan has accelerated their efforts and dug even deeper into the mountain's depths. Oh, shit. Not even a story. That's kind of surprising. Alright, uh... Let's throw on some equipment. So I was messing around with this, which is great stuff and really fun. Um... Do it by rarity? Okay. There we go. I really need to sort my inventory, apparently. Wow. This is a problem. Where's my crimson armor? That's gotta be it. I'd swear I updated it. But I guess it, I guess I haven't. It might actually be time to finally go through and uh, replace my equipment with something a little bit better. I've been using the Sonata stuff, because the Sonata stuff, the Red Devotion benefit is nice. But it's probably actually not worth going for anymore. But yeah, we want something that's uh, lighter than what we've got, at the very least. Trying to fight in heavy armor is not exactly what I'd uh, call the easiest. Okay, so this is this is max rarity. Any of these particularly good? Uh, it's level 14. So ideally something that's as light or lighter than what I've got on. The Neo armor is not that great. So yeah, we could go with this. Would it really help that much? The Yokai equipment drop rate? I don't know. We'll keep with this. I should probably get that dumb hat that we had in the beginning. Uh, people were commenting that they missed it, and I agree. Okay, so let's see. So I can actually move now, which feels really good. I get the feeling if I try and cross that bridge, it's going to go very poorly for me. Just as a general theory. I'm not entirely sure if I'm conclusive with this, but I get the feeling we would die horribly. Yeah, go around. Okay, so there's... there's a grain fan. Um... Well, that's horrifying. That's a lot of dudes. Alright. So if I do this... Will it... It'll get rid of the poison gas? Looks like that's the case. Okay, handy. Anyway, this looks like a giant problem. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to throw a bomb through there. Probably. Well, I'm just gonna kite him back. They're stu- they're stupid. So I should be able to just, uh, kill them one at a time. They're real stupid. As long as I don't fall down in there. I guess, even falling down in there, we've- we've solved the poison gas problem, so it's not a big deal. I wonder- mm, eh, I don't know. Demonic coal mine. Oh yeah. Now let's see. Still you guys. Boop. This was a mistake. No, no rock. Ow! I guess it was rock. There we go. Nope, not enough. There we go. Easy peasy. So far, nothing threatening. Just kind of the usual little critters.
Now, have I cleared out all of the poison, or is it like partial poison clearing? Uh, okay, so I can descend. Yeah, I'm reminded of Earthen Peak already. Which is actually kind of a good thing. Earthen Peak was generally one of my favorite levels of Dark Souls 2. I know this is probably an unpopular opinion, but I actually think I like Dark Souls 2 the best. Okay, that's still poisonous. A lot of people really liked, uh... Oh, those are bombs. Well, I miss. Not a problem. But, like, a lot of people like Dark Souls 3, but I just couldn't get into it. The bosses were... Ah, oh, I fucked up. Or did I? I might have actually done that at the exact opportune time to not screw up. That's good. Yeah, that could have gone really poorly. <laughs> so he's he's designed specifically so he uh, he bull rushes you off into the poison, which is rough biz, unless you're me. At which point, just barely got it right. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I, I like Dark Souls One. Okay, so I will say Dark Souls One is probably the best of the Souls games, just because. It was so incredibly tight from start to finish. The only problem I specifically have with Dark Souls 1... Oh! Huh. We're back here. Ah. Uh, what? Oh! These grain fans are temporary. Okay, um... It was so incredibly tight from start to finish. The only thing I didn't like about Dark Souls 1 was the performance. Uh, they really did not make that game particularly well. Uh, which sucked. It was, it was not enjoyable how, um, how awkward that game is, uh, as far as, like, oh. So, it's a poison stone. Well, that's cool. Okay, so we got a couple of these guys over here. Let's take this out. Well, somebody knows where I live. Okay, there we go. But yeah, Dark Souls 1 had definitely the most interesting, like, zones, lore, so on and so forth. I always felt like the other ones were kind of trying to recapture the magic. It's just... Souls 1 did not perform well at all. It was... It was a great game marred, marred by a terrible port. At some point, maybe I should play it on uh, PS3, see if the co-op works there. But like trying to play that on PC was torture, especially once, uh, especially once they they fixed the once they fixed Games for Windows Live. For whatever reason, the performance dropped to like complete garbage. It sucked. I think they'd ever do a remaster. I'd hope so, but probably not for a couple of years. But yeah, I, I really loved how interconnected everything was for, for Dark Souls. It felt it felt like a really nice, cohesive world. Um, that was really fun to explore and find like new interconnected ways. It also had the craziest of secrets. Like anything in the oh, what was it? The the underground swamp? Everything having to do with that was kind of absurd. What was it, the Great Hollow or something like that? The level that almost nobody... Ow. Wow, you hurt. The level that almost nobody ever did. Because it was hidden behind two secret walls. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 was definitely just kind of like level, level, level. But I kind of appreciated that. I don't know. It was also the first Souls game I ever actually bothered to beat. And it was... It was fun. I liked it. I'd play it again. Maybe at some point, uh, Keith would be up for uh, a playthrough with Bird and myself. We technically started one with him. And then dropped it because Dude was too busy and we kind of wanted to just have like a dumb co-op game to play. And honestly, that was actually probably for the best. It sucks playing a Souls game with somebody that knows who knows what they're doing. Okay. Demon Souls was merciless. Yeah, Demon Souls was rough just because they really didn't know what they were doing when they made that game. 
Personally, I actually really enjoyed... Uh... I'm a guts it to take this out. There we go. At least now we don't have to worry about poison. Okay, there we go. Ah. Uh, but, like, they didn't really know what they were doing with Demon Souls, and it's very obviously, like, mechanically the inferior game. It was clunky, it was buggy. Uh, it was obviously not interconnected beyond, like, a little bit, and it was, like, super linear and stuff. But it had its own charm. I liked it a lot. I'm a little resentful that Keith forced me to do a spellcaster playthrough, but I'm glad we did a spellcaster playthrough when spellcasting was viable. Say what you want about Dark Souls, uh... But trying to do multiplayer... Uh, trying to do, um... Trying to do magic in Dark Souls 1... ...was awful. And 2. There are ways to do it, it just... It sucked. I'd much rather play games that have... What is that? Oh yeah, it's totally black powder. He's supposed to blow you up as you come through. Oh, so this is this is how this connects. Okay, that's fine. Wait, did that just... Oh, there's multiple. Oh, he just missed. I guess we are a lucky duck. Let's see if I can shoot his head off. There we go. Oh wait, there's... There was a ladder that went straight up. Well, that was silly of me. Could have bypassed this whole situation. Wait, is this the way I came? Looks like the way I came. Wow, I am really not on my ball game today. Uh, do we have anybody else hanging around it out here? It looks like no. Okay, I'm trying to be cautious and thorough just because I don't want to miss anything. Let's see, there's Magic and Dark Souls 1? I thought that was new to 3. Haha. <laughs> yeah, there was there is magic in every single one of them. It's just I've already forgotten how to go into Muso mode. That's how I go into Muso mode. Well, that worked out great. Oh, that didn't work out so great. Bye! Oh, that worked out really well. Come on. I'm just down here. Woogoo woogoo. Alright, be that way. I'm running out of ammo. Maybe not so much, though. So his spirit's the dragon? Uh, currently, yeah. Um... You can switch around your spirit as long as you've unlocked them. So I'm currently using the 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 dragon spirit because the dragon spirit gives me um, money and am, am, amrita. Ah, uh, bonuses, which I'm pretty down for. I think I'm still leaning for. I should probably go back and uh, get the bull, uh, especially. Oh yeah, next next shrine we get, next checkpoint we get. I'm 100% getting the bull. Um. I think he has Kodama sense too, but he also has poison, um... He has, uh, poison resistance? And heals based on when you get Amrita, which... All of which seems like a pretty, pretty attractive prospect to me right now. Because this is very definitively a, uh... This is very definitively a poison level. Anything else here? Hey, There it is. Okay. Would be getting the Ghost Recon, uh, Recon Wildlands game. I have no idea if I'm actually gonna get Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'd have to look into it. A lot of people were saying bad things about it for the last uh, for the last beta. So I'm like eh, a little bit. I'm a little bit hesitant to get into that. Also, anything from everything by Ubisoft is always like. Eh, I don't know. I have I have bad luck with Ubisoft. I bought the division and couldn't return it. But like I okay, so I should probably go back. I oh hi. I um I'm just gonna accept if I get bombed here. Okay. We're good. That was a bit scary. 
Okay, but yeah, I bought the division from Green Man Gaming back when I was still buying things from them. I installed it, tried playing it, maxed out my CPU. I spent like two hours trying to uh, trying to get that game to work, and it just it it didn't. And I tried installing it recently, and it still doesn't work. Um. So by the end of it, I'm just like, eh, fuck you, play games. Which is why I wasn't like super interested in getting For Honor or pretty much anything they make at this point. It's just like I don't. There's no guarantee that the game's gonna work on my system, and that's true of anything. But it's just like. It's very hard to spend the money on a game that's really not going to work. Alright. So we get demons down below. Guess I'll check this out. I don't know how he died. I guess we're getting samurai locks. You know what? I probably have a number of these. We got Omeo Mage's locks, which really isn't that useful to me. Samurai locks. Got a bunch. Any from Ninja? Doesn't look like it. Yokai incense. Oh, Himurogi branch. Oh, return to the starting point without losing any Amrita. Oh. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we have anything particularly useful. What do we got here? Title list, uh, prestige summary. So we could get Yokai close combat combat damage. That's useful. And ninjutsu toughness. Item drop rate. Even though it's barely helpful. Let's see. I've ever played Smash Bros. I guess we're in the QA. Uh, we're in QA time. We'll explore. Eh, I'm fine with that. Uh, I've played Smash Bros. I'm not a big fan. Mainly just because. Um, Oh, I have a shit ton of samurai skill points. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Sm Smash Bros. games just because I'm not a very competitive person. Uh, or, conversely, I can be a very competitive person, but it's, like, not good for me. And I don't really enjoy certain things about it. It's always just hard to find an even matchup. Okay. Pairs the attack. Increases damage dealt from behind. Mid-low stance. Okay. Uh, so mid-low, we could actually get our, our toss drag. Let's get our toss drag again, considering I use that frequently. Okay, health at max. My damage is up. Well, I guess I might as well get that. I don't use it as much as I probably should, but that's okay. All right, what do we got? No ninjutsu points. Oh, but I do have some omeo magic points. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get these, but no dice. If some of these would be useful for like uh, healing and whatnot, I might put some points into magic at some point, but probably not immediately. Wait, Horizon Zero Dawn's an Ubisoft game? Really? Huh. But it's coming out to PS... No. Horizon Zero Dawn's not an Ubi Ubisoft game. Um, It's made by the same people that made uh, Resistance. Which is very definitively not Ubisoft. Oh, it's you. Ah. Kind of lucked that one out. Okay. Okay. This thing sucks. I hate everything about this current situation. Just burn, baby, burn. Don't do a roll-up on me. Is it dead? It's dead. Okay, that's good. Because you... You suck. Okay. That burnt through way too many of my elixirs. That was rough. Insomniac. No. 
There's a difference between Insomniac. I'm trying to remember who it is. That's a weird studio name. They've only ever made like a couple of different games. Oh, cool. I can just destroy this. Plenty of plenty of ammo time. Well, miss. Or did I? Oh. Well, hi. Well, that was comically easy. And I'm trying to remember. Yeah, no, Ubisoft uh Ubisoft uh tends to produce things for PC as well. So if uh, if it's a Ubisoft game, generally it's going to show up on multiple. Oh, that's some dude just prostrating himself. Okay, I'm kind of surprised we haven't found a shrine yet. Oh, something hates me. Well, I thought something hated me, but I guess not. What? I don't know. I don't remember killing any of these things. Do we have a wall? No, I actually don't know what... Kill this. Insomniac made resi resistance. No. Insomniac made Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, there we go. It's Gorilla Games. That's... That's the studio. Oh, Central Mine Key. I have no idea what that does for me. But I got it. Okay. I feel like this game needs a map. Oh, shrine. Do we use it? I feel like let's clear out the last area and then use the shrine. Yeah, I really like the Ratchet and Clank games. I really like practically everything Insomniac makes. I just I hated the most recent Ratchet and Clank because they uh they nuked my videos. I don't know how many of you guys were following my channel at the time, but they handed out uh free copies for people to cover the latest Ratchet and Clank. And then Universal went through and was like, let's, uh, let's get rid of all of these Let's Plays. Nuked everyone from me to Zebra to, from me, Zebra, uh, Blitzkrieg's there. I think he got hit too. It wasn't like a, it wasn't a copyright strike, but it was pretty much one. Well, not a copyright strike. It was a, it was a copyright, it was a content ID takedown. Effectively, you couldn't play your videos, and that super sucked. I still get emails from them being like, uh, your video's been taken down. Your video's back up. Your video's been taken down, and I just gave up. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I know it's 100% Universal's fault for doing that, but at the same time, if you're gonna make a game, make and send out press copies, make damn sure that, uh, Thought I saw an eye eyeball in there. Make damn sure that your uh, your partner in the the process is not immediately going to start like just attacking the pre members of the press as part of the uh, as part of the coverage. Oh, this is just to get up here to this guy. Sorry, I'm exploring around for a moment. Just because I don't want to miss anything. I think we've seen it, everything, though. So, alright. More than the Resistance series. Uh, if Insomniac made a Resistance game, it was a side... Oh, hi. Uh, it was a side, side game. And not one of the mainline ones, because Guerrilla Games made pretty much all of, all of them, from what I remember. Okay, can I level up? I can level up. So, we do hide ya. Wow! Alright, it really wants me to put that point into skill. As a huge b damage bonus across the board. Yeah, sure, why not? Somniac made all the main games, really? Oh, Gorilla Me Kill Zone! There we go. I screwed that up. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. This is the one problem with me, um... This is the one problem with me streaming things. I can't look things up. 
mid time. Yeah, sorry, I get resistance and kill zone mixed up. Cause they're both uh they're both about aliens and shit. At least from what I remember. I hate the battle wheel. Okay. Did I get it? Yeah, did get it. Well, if I die, we're right here. I kind of want to try that again. Let's see what happens if I pray and heal there. But yeah, no, sorry. Kill zone and uh, resistance are super similar in my head because they're both. Uh... Is he back? Yeah, he's back. They're both. Um... They're both, uh, PlayStation titles. PlayStation exclusive titles that, um... They're both PlayStation exclusive titles that featured, you know, aliens and stuff like that. And games that I, I personally never played. <laughs> so that kind of throws a clinch into things. I don't know. Anyway, do we just accept it? Oh, you know, no. Let's. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I hate those. I hate flaming wheel enemies. They're stupid. Like I understand this one actually fits a hell of a lot better than the uh, flaming wheel skeleton or the the regular wheel skeletons from Dark Souls. But um. I still hate them. The wheel skeletons never made any sense. At least these ones are like mythological creatures that people have heard of before. Uh, but still. Oh, right. No, we were going to go back. I forgot. I was going to switch to the bull. Alright, guess I got to fight that wheel one more time. Okay, change guardian spirit. Fuzushi. Because, yeah, the enemy's defeated damage bonus seems pretty attractive, too. But I think this will be m most useful. Let's switch to this. Wow, that really did not do nearly as much damage as I wanted it to. Well, this has already gone very poorly for me. Okay. It's gonna kill me again, isn't it? I hate this guy. Well... There's a fucking fire wheel! I fought these guys before, they're not... Well, at least I can get my shit back really easily. There's gotta be a better way to fight this thing. Doesn't help that I screwed the pooch. Wow, that doesn't do dick. Okay. Did it just lose interest in me? It did. That's interesting. Do you just ignore it? There's got to be a way to cheese this fight. I guess there's our answer. Abuse. From a distance. Yeah, why even fight it fairly? Alright. 
Can't do shit to me if I just stay slightly out of range. Okay, well this is... That was... Hey, at least he gave me an elixir. So... I don't know. I'll call it close enough. Okay. So let's keep to the... No, let's not keep to the general... Ow! Oh, you. Okay, let's keep to, to the general plan from before. I guess I should probably find the, um... I get set on fire fast. Okay, let's see if I can find the mushroom. There, there it is. There's good. There's oh, it's healing. There we go. Rock heals. Well, I don't know if this comes back or not. No, there's 100% a separate poison stone over there. Somewhere. Just gotta find access to it. I might be able to drop down here and fight, though. This place seems clear. Hard to say. Well, I should I should clear this out. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Well, that rock goes down quick. I'm not a big fan of the, uh, not a big fan of mid-stance here, but that's okay. Hello! How go? You look danger! Ha! You are very danger, but that is okay, because I know how to kill Oni. Come on. As long as he doesn't follow that up with the with a further attack, we good. We super good. Okay, and free elixirs. Okay, so I think we've cleared out the the rocks largely from the zone. I wonder if the uh, rocks come back when I use the shrine. You know, that's actually a bit of a concern. That would suck if they do. Boop. Might as well capitalize on that, and then we run away very fast. Bye! Okay. Right here, dude. You kind of suck at, suck at this. Be great if I could actually get him to fall down or something. That'd be funny. Just get him chucked down into a hole. Uh, let's see. Yeah, originally these guys used to scare the shit out of me. Oh, hey, there's a ladder up here. That I can drop down. Handy. Yeah, those Oni used to scare the shit out of me. I was never particularly good at fighting them. And now it's kind of just like, well, hey, it's uh, it's not bad. At all. Where's the... Ah. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get barfed on. Oh, there's a ladder down one floor. I gotcha. I was wondering why there was like a weird ladder that I could drop down here? That seems so wildly arbitrary. Okay, that was actually a bit spookily. Please don't blow up on me. I would be very upset. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. That was some very intensive grundling going on there. I guess I could have blown up the uh, the Oni had I been thinking about it.
Not like it probably really matters. Okay, uh, well, considering I'm probably not getting a whole lot of hand cannon ammo for a while. Ooh, new bow. Let's see if I can ace his shot straight to his face. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get there in time to hit him while he's down. But, still seems like way easier. I'm right here, dude. Uh-oh. Still seems way easier. Okay, come on. I gave him the love taps. I just gotta make sure I don't go down the hole. Hell, I don't even know where the hole is here. At least they're pretty linear with their... Uh-oh. Boop. Miss. Oh, that's a bad miss. Okay. I've gotten killed by that before. Pretty much any time one of these guys attack, I'm, I'm like actually kind of reliving through... Uh, reliving the, like... Me dying through their attack, and I'm like... These were unpleasant times. I remember them not very fondly. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, hey, this is how we... Ah, crap! Screw it. Bye. I don't care if it breaks on me. What you gonna do, Mr. Big Wheel? Ah, shit. Okay, elixir time. I hate giant wheel enemies. They suck. They suck so hard. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from him. Ah! Why do we roll around behind? Ah, whatever. Barely any damage. Hardly any problem. That scared the shit out of me, though. I was like, okay, there's gonna be an enemy around here, and then it's like, blood. It's like, ah! <laughs> really do not appreciate eight such things. I mean, I'll suffer it, I guess, but... Is there... I hear a Kadam. Oh, the Kadama's behind. Up there and behind. So this is where that Oni was. <clears throat> Boss at the end of the mission is a giant wheel. Please don't even joke about that. Oh, hey, another Kadama. I would be so angry if it is a giant wheel. I mean... Not that big of a deal, but still. Okay, so he came from here. And he comes with the Kadama. Hey! Okay. So what do we want to do? We've got that direction. I think this is more of a side path, so let's take this first. Oh. Makes sense, there's a, uh... There's a demon here. What's up, dude? How's it going? They used to be scary. Now they're just kind of here. Like... I really love the Oni in this game. I'm actually really surprised at how few enemy varieties there are in this game, come to think of it. Like, have we even run into a new enemy type in this game? There's, I mean, there's the fire wheels, which are awful and horrible and whatever. But, like, are there actually any other, um, are there actually any other 
unique enemy types we've run into so far? I guess it's the poison rocks. But, like, Dark Souls, for example, generally every level had, like, one or two new, unique... One or two new, unique uh, enemies to fight along the way. Okay, so let's grab some, uh... Grab some antidotes. I do have Heroku Damas equipped. Huh. Alright. Uh, so we got the paralysis charm. Got anything for poison? Oh, that, that one gives us Kadama sense. I should probably actually go through and... Um, I should probably actually go through. It's like four versus poison. It doesn't really look like we've got anything. I don't know, this just looks like a boss drop down to me. Don't see a single enemy here. Uh, have we gotten all the Kadama? I don't know. It's boss time. It's a giant centipede of poison rock monster. Oh god. That is a face that no mother could love. Me especially. Okay. Okay, so we've got this sucker. Who's really scary. Ow. Like, how the- how the- Fudge Mystic- Oh! That's how I'm supposed to hurt it. Oh, jeez. That's how I'm supposed to fight this. Okay, they turn into rocks. And then we've got... You. Okay, it's a giant centipede. I get ya. Ow. Rock. Rock straight to the gizzard. There is no easy way for me to fight this sucker, is there? Ugh. That's a bad time. Ow. You're also a bad time. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm locked onto the head. Which means it's very hard to fight this thing. Maybe what I'm supposed to do is not fight this thing necessarily. What if there's ways to cheese it? Like a bomb! Well, he's certainly flammable. Okay. Have another bomb! You're scary as shit. Alright, what do we got around here? We got weird ladders and nonsense. This doesn't seem worth it. I feel like there's supposed to be a, like a meta strategy I'm supposed to use. The answer is, stand beneath it, kick the shit out of it. Okay. Have a bomb! Have another bomb! Ow. Have my last bomb! Okay, have my sword. Is there... Is there a way to... I don't know what I'm doing. 
Is that obvious? It better be. Wait, is he running away from me? He's running away from me. Why are you running away from me? I can't follow. He's probably coming back with friends. Okay. Yeah, he came back with friends. Okay, did we get him? Maybe I should go for the face. Okay. That's worrying. You are nothing but worrying. Okay, oh. That's why I need to kill these. Maybe? Made everything poison land. Luckily we got a big ol' resistance to poison. But... Still scary nonsense. Uh, how's his poison resist? Garbage. And by garbage, I mean he's his poison resist is top notch. Of course it would be. Let's see. Do we have anything down here, or is this all just intentionally full poison? It looks like it's all intentionally full poison. That's good. Ugh. Okay. There goes all but my last two. Okay, I got one left. What's this? No, no, no. I don't want to travel. This is not travel shrine time. Okay. Here's what I'm going to try and do. Okay, didn't work. We heal. I don't want to... I don't want to target him. I just want to hit him. There we go. He's dead. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so the problem is... I, I think I was randomly, like, targeting him or something. And uh, it wasn't working great. Whew. But yeah, the thing... Something that big should not uh, be able to rotate in circles like that. Which, I mean, it's not a big deal, but it was kind of inconvenient. But the trick for that guy is block till he rears up and then wail on him and just eat the damage. I just... whenever If you were locked onto that boss, you can't hit him, which is dumb. <laughs> well, apart from a little bit of anger frustration, um, we good. Yeah. Anything else cool to grab around here? Oh, there was a thing that would um, clear the poison. I actually don't know if the boss would have followed me up here. Probably would have. Bastard. Can I? I can't jump down there. That's really weird. Actually. Wait, what is this? Huh. I apparently cannot... I am not subject to gravity right now. That's very strange stuff. All right. Well, at least I can grab some antidotes. Well, let's get out of here. Thank you, Birdcatcher, for the moral support. All right. Thank you for taking care of that business with Iwami. Now we should be able to resume our mining. I would much appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone what you saw down there. Keep it to yourself. And I can assure you that the Mori clan will be glad to honor Master Hanzo's request for as long as it remains advantageous for us to do so. If you wish for further assistance from the Mori clan, I suggest you go see Kobayaka, Kob, Kobayakawa Hideki. Hideki? I don't know. Anyway. Usurpers, Kabuto, Sake, and Branch. We got booze! Awesome. And mission change to Twilight Mission. Thank you. All right, so we got some side quests. Do I have enough? How do we... Ah, starting point. Shrine. Please let me level up. All right. I got an item for that. 
This one? No, that's 100. This one. There we go. Anyway, shrine, level up. So which one of these gives me the most amount of stats? The answer seems to be very distinctively skill. Hot damn. I wonder if it's one of those where the lower your stat is, the higher the stat bonus it's going to give you. Uh, to convince you to kind of all round a little bit. Well, I got no reason why not to. Uh, how's our Kadama bonuses looking? Oh, shit. So every time we go to a new, new zone, it, um... It nixes our our available katamas. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but also we didn't we didn't pick up any new uh, spirits. Well, that also sucks. Well, that's fine, I guess. All right, so what what else do we have? Ocean roars again. Mi mission level thirty eight. Actually, that's not so bad. That last one was twenty seven though. Just jeez. I guess we have uh, two side quests to do before we get onto it. And I could go back and do some other things if I really want to. I don't know. Either way, that was actually fun. Uh, surprisingly fun. I don't know. I, I always, I've got like, I'm not going to say reverse Stockholm Syndrome, but it's just like, I love these games, but I really don't want to play them. Like whenever I'm like kind of trying to rev myself up to playing a, a, a Souls-like or a Neo, it's just like, eh, meh. Meh. And then I play them, and I'm like, oh yeah, that actually wasn't so bad. It's just, the initial run-up is hard. It's like uh, cliff diving, or diving boards would probably be better than cliff diving. Cliff diving can kill you. Diving boards also can kill you. I'm rambling. Good night.